Thousands of people all over the country are taking a big step into much smaller quarters. Yes, these houses are real. And the tiny home trend has made its way to West Michigan. News Channel 3's Alex Jokic joining us live now with this special report, A Little on a Lot. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, Kirk. We actually started working on this story almost exactly one year ago. Our idea was to track the tiny home movement as it picked up steam both nationwide and here in Michigan. What we found is pretty fascinating. Take a look. Who would have guessed the biggest thing to hit modern housing could be so small? Tiny houses are the new cool thing and everybody needs one. The typical tiny house is 500 square feet or less. And this miniature movement has a massive following. A quick internet search reveals pages upon pages of pint-sized dream dwellings, many looking like something out of a storybook. But it's no fantasy. You'll see a lot of options and, you know, just be creative. You can create some variation and do something that'll work just for you. Just ask one of the half dozen reality shows now fanning the phenomenon's flame. To better understand the current craze, let's go back. This is my tiny house. Come on in. To its humble beginnings. Many credit a guy named Jay Schaefer with setting the wheels in motion. In this 2007 YouTube video, he gives a tiny tour of his 89 square foot home. Some perspective, the average American home is 25 times its size. And yeah, he has to get creative to fit it all in. As long as I have tiny plates, it seats four people. The idea caught on with people like Ryan Mitchell in North Carolina, who we interviewed via webcam. I was working my first job out of graduate school. The owner of the company one Friday afternoon came in and let us all know that the company was closing. Mitchell decided it was time to downsize and started building using an 18-foot trailer as a frame. My house cost me $15 a month to maintain. I have no rent, no mortgage, and I live a very comfortable life. He says the average cost to build a tiny home is $23,000, depending, of course, how fancy you get. And millennials aren't the only ones living little. They run the gamut of age and experience, too. Tiny homeowners are twice as likely to have a master's degree and aren't all low income. They actually earn $500 more per year than the average American. Tiny houses are just really amazing activators for people's lives. And as the movement expands, people are thinking outside the box. A Nashville pastor setting up a tiny town for the homeless. Relax shacks if you'd like a little getaway. And so-called granny pods, which can be dropped into a caregiver's yard. The possibilities for petite homes seems to be growing as square footage, well, keeps shrinking. So make way for the micros. Little by little, we'll surely be making more small talk in the near future. Now, there has been a growth spurt in the small house movement right here in West Michigan, too. Coming up next week, hear from a man who not only lives in a tiny home over in Ottawa County, but is also building them so others can follow suit. Now, if you're wondering why anyone would want to live like that, or maybe even how they managed to do it, you'll see it live next Thursday. Jeff.